the basement. How's it going? Oh, no. That's Kurt, he's selling it. <laughs> so down here you've got access to a uh, patio right underneath the deck. There's a good size family room, washer, dryer, uh, and another bedroom down here. This actually would be this little spot right here looking out the back. There's great views out the back. You see nothing but sky, vegetation, and mountains. A couple of rooftops here and there, but not too bad. This would be a great place for an office right here. I've got a little desk set up there. We've got a family room. This would be a great spot for a full entertainment center, a big huge flat screen. Be a nice spot. Over here, kind of part of the same room almost is where they've got the washer and dryer. Um, I don't think it'd be too hard to close that off. Even just uh, doing a partition wall or something would be relatively easy to close that up. They've got uh, access to the mechanicals back here. A water heater. Hit the light again. Right in the middle of the range for energy efficiency. I don't know if this is going to make sense to you when you're seeing it, but I'm looking up at the insulation. A little bit of that fiberglass needs to be packed back into place, but it, overall it looks pretty good to me. This is a nice feature to have the little wash basin next to your washer and dryer. Some storage space above. It's a pretty functional area. Here's the bathroom down here. Again, nice ceramic tile for the whole bathroom and laundry area. A lot of space in here, actually. I think you could squeak a larger tub in here if you wanted to. But this is, again, a, just a standard size tub down here. Nice towel. Pretty large vanity, good storage here. Again, back out to the family room. I'll take you to a quick peek of the bedroom down here. And then I really want to show you the, uh, the back area where the deck is. It's pretty awesome. Nice little bedroom. Looking out the back. Again, I'm sure you can hear the birds at this point. Got uh, lots of vegetation, lots of birds. It's a really peaceful setting. Little closet here. Back through here, off of the bedroom actually, is access to the crawl space, which they have uh, made functional uh, for enormous amount of storage. This uh, storage wall goes quite a ways back there. Full width of the house. Um, tons of storage space. I don't know if you can see all the way back here, but there's, uh, there's a lot going on. Here again, I was taking a look um, at some of the insulation. Overall, it looks pretty good. Um, I would be tempted to some of these empty cavities that are not quite filled all the way, like right behind the light bulb there. Uh, you can just see it's kind of packed in a bit. I would be tempted to put a little bit more in there and actually put a little plastic vapor barrier over the whole thing because this space here is not heated. So you want to insulate that from the floor above. Not a big deal, but just a little tip that I picked up in some energy efficiency classes. It can make a big difference to have these uh, 
bats sealed off so that there's not airflow going through. All right, back to the fun stuff. I'm gonna take a quick look out the back from the patio. I think the deck is really where it's at, but this is a nice spot too. Got a good amount of space back here. Stairway going up there to access the deck. They've got some storage for their toys over here underneath the deck. And then I think around the corner they've got some nice steps coming up here. I think around the corner you can get all the way up to the front. Right over there. I'll ask if these uh, toys come with. <laughs> Back here, you've got some awesome open space. I think Three Mile Creek is running through right down there, which is why the vegetation is always nice and green, which is why the birds are so happy. It's, just a, it's a cool spot. We're looking pre predominantly north, maybe a little bit northwest. Um, I'm looking, so where the camera's pointed right now is looking towards downtown Glenwood Springs.